Hey guys, how's it going? It's Silver Luck Picker here. In the video I have for you today, I'm going to answer a question that many of you may have. What is zero bidding and why does my key look like this? So oftentimes when many people are first starting out in Locksport, they'll get a key that looks like this that they have bought on eBay. You can see that it has only shallow cuts going all the way across. You can see this on this Master Lock M1 key. And I have a few other keys I can share with you as well. I have an American Lock AM3 key. And sometimes you can see it just as a blank itself. So when you have a zero bitted lock, it's going to come with all of the pens inside, but it's going to come with the smallest pens that come with that lock. Then you're going to either have a key that's cut down the smallest depth, or sometimes you'll just find a key blank itself will work. So on this American lock core, I'm going to have this key cut to the smallest depth all the way going across. When you insert the key, you're going to see it's going to open it up. So one distinct advantage of this is when you have a key looking like this, you're going to have all of your spacing correct. So if you were to hand file, you would already be in a great position. But mostly this is done for locksmiths that are going to use a code cutter. And what's great about this is you can get a lock sent out with a key you have working pens, and you can rekey the lock to your needs. You're not going to come with a key that's already cut because that may not be helpful to you. So when you get a zero bitted lock, do not fret about it. It is something that is done intentionally, and it is something that can be pretty convenient, especially if you do own a code cutting machine. This is something that is done mostly for locksmiths. So if you wonder why anyone would want it, it's not really designed for someone without a code cutting machine. But if you do buy the lock, you can go to the locksmith and then have it cut to the same key that you have for all your other locks and then you can have it penned up as well. But either way guys, this is all that I have for you today. This was just a really quick showing of what a zero bitted key looked like. This is something that's very intentionally done and you do not want to fret about it. This is something that's actually pretty convenient. It's a really great idea. And if you ever just get confused why you have a key that looks like this, just realize it's probably done on purpose. But either way, guys, this is all that I have for you today. If you have any questions or suggestions, as always, please drop those in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video. And I hope you all have a great day, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.